Hello and welcome to the Villa Park Podcast. It's me, Rich, and I'm back with uh, another transfer talk show roundup. Um, yeah, yesterday um, we had a great show, uh, Fans Forum special with uh, AVFC Stato. Um, so make sure you check that out on the channel. It was a great show, some wonderful, wonderful stats. And um, yeah, in what is shaping up to be a record-breaking season for Villa. Um, but today, just thought I would round up some of the transfer news over the last couple of days and some some big players getting linked with uh, with Aston Villa Obvious, obviously we're doing well in the league um, we're going to be linked with players agents are going to fly names out there and uh, and obviously Villa are going to have scouts watching players so we have um, yeah potential big news on a couple of big players that you know we're now looking for players that could potentially um, help us in Champions League football next season so there will be some big names linked before we get into that though please do hit the like button hit that subscribe button we are uh, 15 away from three and a half thousand. I feel like I keep saying that, but we're so close. So please, if you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. Or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and um, hit that like button and let your, let me know your thoughts in the comments on uh, the potential players that we are looking at. Um, so the first one, we talked about him um, in pre-season last year, but again, his name is rearing his head and he is a wonderful, wonderful player who would really, really um, improve our team. And um, yeah, I, I believe he's probably a long-term target of Monchi, and that is Pedro Gonçalves um, of Sport in Lisbon. And um, yeah, again, you know, had an excellent season, um, has now played 113 times for Sport in Lisbon and scored 54 goals. So yeah, attacking player, can play in midfield, very, very versatile, can play on the left-hand side as well. Uh, and also has represented Portugal at all levels from under 18s upwards. So, yeah, would be a, a, a brilliant, brilliant player. But we wouldn't, um, we we would face a lot of competition for him. Um, apparently, there's an 80 million euro release clause, um, but also th 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 there's there's other negotiations in there as well of potentially being able to get him for for less than that. But we would face a battle apparently alongside West Ham, who are interested and current German uh, Bundesliga leaders um, by uh, Leverkusen. So it won't be a straightforward one. And uh, again, it will, I, I would imagine, hinge a lot on, on where we finish in the league and what and what we uh, what we get in terms of European football and what we can what we can offer him, um, of course, as well. Um, so looking at his um, sofa score rating, obviously um, very, very good in terms of technical uh, attacking ability and creativity. He's only 25 years old as well, can play left wing play attacking midfield, can play um, central midfield and can also play in defensive midfield, according to this. Predominantly in from the left and coming into the centre. Um, so, you know, versatile in terms of the way that Emery likes to play. And also you can see like it can get back as well and help out in defence. So hard working player, 24 games played in um, the Portuguese league, um, five teams of the week. So uh, very, very good, consistent player. Nine goals scored this season so far in the league. Nine big chances missed, six from inside the box, three from outside of the box and the predominantly cut in on his right foot, but has also scored a goal with his left. Um, has 10 assists as well, which is uh, a great record. So will, I would imagine, finish on double figures for goals and assists for the season and has created 15 big chances. So he'll be saying a lot to his strikers. And if you think Ollie Watkins and how he's finishing has improved this season with someone creating that many big chances, um, it'll be uh, music to his ears, I'm sure. Um, accuracy in terms of passing 80, in his own half, doesn't do a lot of passes in his own half, 90%, but at 69% in the opposition half, obviously very attacking player, um, is uh, is very good numbers as well. Um, 1.5 tackles per game for an attacker, that's good, and 3.6 ball recovery, so excellent again. And um, ground jewels went at 47%, so we know hard working strong uh, and has also scored goals in the uh, in the Europa League as well. So played nine times in the Europa League, scoring three goals and um, two assists as well. So the score goals in Europe. So, you know, consistent goal scoring season um, for uh, for Pedro Gonçalves. And um, obviously we know he will be hot property in the summer. So, yeah, can we can we get him? Can we pick um, um, West Ham or Bayer Leverkusen to the post? And I'm sure a number of other clubs who will be interested in him um, when the season finishes. And would it be an 80 million euro release clause? Would we have to sell someone to potentially get him in? That's uh, Those are the questions that we would need to get answered. Um, 
Secondly, um, a player who's kind of burst onto the scene in Italy, uh, Lewis Ferguson, who uh, Scottish international, and he's abs- he's absolutely smashing it um, at the moment, um, doing very very well with Bologna, getting them to the brink of um, European qualification. Um, previously for, played for Aberdeen, where he played 132 games, scoring 27 goals. Uh, and then and Bologna since 2022, and he's played 58 times, scoring 13 goals. And he's having a great season. Um, and again, Villa would um, would are one of a host of clubs interested in him. And we've had scouts checking him out, um, watching him. And uh, and apparently we are very interested in, in signing him. However, um, numerous other clubs including Newcastle, Brentford, Fulham and Everton have also looked at him. So um, they will, that he will be hot property. I mean, in terms of his, his um, rankings with the Bologna squad, he's top in appearances, top in assists or, or joint top in assists. He's second on shots per game and um, second in terms of his rate in this season. So um, yeah, very, very consistent performer this season. And um, uh, one who, who I'm sure is going to attract a lot of interest. Um, if we take a look at his uh, rating on on sofa score um he uh, he covers the pitch i mean look at that you know the heat map right left central back so great engine maybe um maybe kind of a, a jo- in the john mcginn mold and um, getting about the pitch um and that would be a t- that would be a nightmare for any defensive uh, any team that we come up against um played 28 times this season six goals as i said before um, has missed four big chances as well, so gets gets um, on the end of chances. Scored five from inside the box, one from outside of the box. Um, five with his right foot, one with his head. He's got three assists as well this season, as I said, in terms of passing accuracy. I mean, those numbers are fantastic. 88% per game, 92% in his own half, and 85% in the opposition half. Um, and 4.8 ball recoveries per game. So, you know, you look at the engine he's got, look how hard he works. Um, you can tell why he's popular with um, Italian supporters. Um, and um, yeah, Jules won 52%, ground Jules won 54%. So strong player. Um, and um, yeah, would um, I think would would ingratiate himself with the Aston Villa supporters very, very well. Um, and yeah, could he be, um, you know, a, a potential kind of heir to McGinn's throne? You know, we know we like that, like Scottish players. We know we like... Um, we know we like that type of player at Aston Villa, so he could be he could be one who we could be very much interested in. But as I said, numerous of the Premier League clubs will, will be looking at him, and um, you know he might stick at Bologna, especially if he gets them in the Champions League as well. He might give that another season. So one to watch with him. But as I say, we've had scouts watching him a few times, so um, I wouldn't um, I wouldn't rule that one out as well. Um, we are apparently in a in a battle with Arsenal as well for goalkeeper breakout goalkeeper this season Alvaro Vales, um, and um, yes, apparently we are rivaling Arsenal for this goalkeeper. Um, had a had a, has had a really good season with Las Palmas this season, where he has appeared 102 times um, since 2019. Um, I, hasn't broke into the Spanish uh, squad yet, um, but he's very, very highly rated. Um, and again, if we, we we take a look at him on uh, on uh, on Sofa Score, um, you know, again had a consistent season. Uh, 29 times he's played this season, only conceding 1.1 goal per game for a team like Las Palmas, um, which is pretty good. 32 uh, goals conceded, as I said, only two from outside the box, made 89 saves this season, 55 inside the box, 32 outside the box. Um, And yeah, um, very, very, uh, I think very, very highly rated player, seven clean sheets this season as well. So, you know, consistent goalkeeper. Now, we've just signed Joe Gauci. Um, we're obviously potentially looking at moving Robin Olsen on. We've got numerous goalkeepers out on loan. Um, would he be coming in to rival um, Amy Martinez for the number one spot? Um, that would be remain to be seen. Hopefully we're in um, the cha- uh, Champions League football. So would it mean that we'd need to rotate squads a little bit more in the Premier League? And you've got to have that, that increased level of, of, of squad player. I don't know, but yeah, it's interesting to interesting to see, and and obviously Arsenal, you know, the all of the controversy around Raya and Ramsdale. 
are they looking to bring someone in, you know, to, to maybe let Ramsdale go? So, yeah, one to watch, but interesting on the goalkeeper front because, like I say, we signed one in January and we've got numerous goalkeepers out on loan who are doing very well. So, yeah, that's going to be one to one to look at. And finally, um, a striker that we're interested in, Albion Romani, um, Kosovan International. Um, who uh, Villa are actually um, really are um, looking at from Rapid Bucharest. Um, he scored 14 goals so far this season in 16 games. So a wonderful goal scoring record. Having previously played for Balkani, um, where he scored 24 goals in 49 games, six foot two. Um, so uh, I think, you know, quite, quite big um, athletic um, and obviously knows where the goal is. And I think they, I think, Bucharest got him for 600,000 euros. Um, I think Villa are looking at maybe 6 million euros. So maybe looking to do, um, get him on a, uh, you know, on a, on a good fee for a highly rated player. Um, so, so, you know, we've seen it with uh, Kosta Nijelkovic getting players um, from kind of Eastern Europe. We're seeing it with younger players like Morgan Rogers looking to get um, players like that in. Maybe fits that profile um, of someone who has played, um, you know, first team football, not not really, really young, um, but could come in and maybe learn from the likes of Ollie Watkins. Uh, obviously, we've seen with John Duran, who's 21, 22 as well. So those players who can kind of learn um, where they've had a little bit of experience as well. As I say, 23 years of age, 16 um, games played, 14 goals already. Um, he scored one with the head, three left foot, 10 with his right foot. So predominantly right footed, all, all but one goal from inside of the box. Um has missed 10 big chances as well. So we're not sure what the quality of that league is like, but if you're looking at that, how many goals he's actually scored and how many he could have scored, I mean, that that's crazy. Um, three assists and created nine big chances. So clearly, clearly, um, you know, a, an excellent player for that, for that particular league and that level of football. So I'm sure they want to test him at a higher level. And that's maybe why Villa, Villa are looking at him um as well as i'm sure a host of other clubs but six million euros that could be a that could be an absolute bargain um that's it in terms of the roundup as i say um pedro Gonçalves, very very exciting hopefully we can uh, we can bring that one get that one over the line and, and get that one done early um, but you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments um hit that like button as well hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed already Get in the chat as well. Let me know your thoughts. Who would you like to sign out of those players? Um, we'll be back, as I say, for plenty more shows over the international break. Um, but do check out the fans forum last night with um, AVFC Stato. It was an excellent show. Um, thank you all for watching. And as always, remember, we all follow the villa. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>